Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexis, if you didn't already know. And today we're gonna talk about elevating to your higher self or becoming your higher self. Y'all, I feel so good today. Like literally when y'all see this video, that's, I'm recording it like right now. So literally, let's just talk about how good we feel today do you feel good do you feel good i hope you feel good if you don't feel good right now i hope this video makes you feel better about yourself or better today okay or whenever you decide to watch this because i feel good and i, I literally could cry right now about how like how i feel like i could I, oh my god i feel so at peace so look we're going to talk about becoming or elevating to your higher self. I've been on this journey for like ever. Well, honestly, since 17, when I started getting to my spirituality and started understanding like what um, peace on earth really means, right? So I don't want to take too much of your time, but I'm going to go ahead. I got my journal here. It says faith can uh, move mountains and it's uh, Matthews chapter 17, verse 20. So I wanted to write down what the actual textbook definition of your higher self is, right? So higher self is a term associated with multiple belief systems, but its basic premise describes an eternal, um, omnipotent, conscious, and intelligent being who is one's real self. Whoa! Oh my goodness. And you know what's crazy? Look at this. Look at this. I'm, I'm trying not to show everything I got. Look at this. I wrote it down. And look at, look, you see this verse up here? It literally says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. Second Corinthians chapter five, verse 17. Yo, I opened my book to this page. This is the first empty page I have. And it had this scripture on it. I said, look, signs, 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 signs everywhere. God is telling you everything all the time. Literally, this empty page in my journal is literally talking about the old has gone and the new has come. And that's all relating to becoming your higher self, man. Like, come on. It says, conscious and intelligent being who is one's real self. That's the goal. The goal is to find yourself in just who are you? Like, who are you? Who can you be? Who can you become? What do you want to become, right? So I want to also talk about ways I have achieved becoming my higher self. And I feel like, being a higher self is an ongoing process. It's like a thing that happens until you die. It's not one of those things where, oh, you're on day 364 and the new year is coming up and you're like, oh, I reached my higher self. No, your higher self is like always going to be a higher self. Like, I don't, I don't think it's really like, I think the, the, the goal or, um, the, yeah, the, what is it? Was it the race where they have the little line, the, the cross the line? I think you only reach that when you pass away. And when you pass away, your soul shows who you have became by when you die, if that makes sense. And I plan to go to heaven. I hope you all plan to go to heaven. I do believe in heaven. I also believe in hell. I mean, you kind of have to believe in both, right? So I want to be the person and I want to have the soul that God wanted me to have by the time he calls me to him. Okay. So look, we're going to talk about, okay, personally, this is ways I have helped, it has helped me achieve a higher self every day. So step one is prayer. Like you have to pray. Like you have to pray. You have to ask God questions. You have to thank him for things. When you talk to God and you pray, he gives you um, a level of understanding that a lot of people don't have. He gives you a certain discernment so you can go around this earth a little differently than the people that don't have his godly ways. You know, prayer, prayer is not only used to, uh, to ask for stuff. You shouldn't always ask for something when you uh, pray. You should always think. And when you ask, don't ask for, oh, a new car. Ask like, God, what is my purpose? What do you want me to achieve? Is this person right for me in my life? Is this job right for me? Is this going down the path you want for me? You know, you ask questions to learn, not asking, 
oh, just for uh, gifts and everything. Now, that is not what God wants from us. He doesn't want us asking him for things all the time. He wants us to praise. Okay, I'm sorry about that. My camera actually like started tripping, but he wants us, like I was saying, to praise him, glorify him, and actually, you know, seek guidance and knowledge from him, right? So, um, the second thing is seek deep within and continue to grow. And when you seek deep within, you start to ask yourself, like, why are you the way that you are? Are there deeper meanings to the world? Um, you start you start looking farther into yourself about your, your own personality, your own qualities, you know what I'm saying? What you're good at, what you're bad at, what you want to work on, um, who you want to be in five years, where you want to be in five years. Like, um, you start to ask deeper um, meaningful questions about who you are, right? And when I say continue to grow, once you ask yourself these questions and you get the answers, um, like say you have a bad quality about yourself, like uh, you are, you're you're not good at communication. Okay, if you know you're not good at communication, work on that, continue to grow. Try to um, better that for the future for yourself, right? Okay, so number three is heal from your trauma and forgive. Once you start asking yourself deeper questions, like why am I the way that I am? You know what I'm saying? You start to ask yourself like, literally, why am I the way I am? You start looking at your past trauma. You start looking at, you know, things you went through that, you know, hurt you or things that changed you. And you have to start forgiving yourself and forgiving people and forgiving those situations in order for you to continue to grow. Because everybody goes through bad things in life. Everybody has some type of trauma. You know what I'm saying? And the best thing to do is find that trauma, find out why it's trauma, and then forgive it and let it go. Forgive it and let it go. That's the best thing for you to escape that box you put yourself in after holding on for something for so long. The way to get out that box is to forgive it and understand it and grow from it and learn it. And the fourth thing I say is release. It goes with forgiveness. It goes with healing. You have to release. You have to release. Let everything go. Wash it away and continue just growing and just working through it. Literally, the last thing I have, tip five, is God, which is love, love, which is God. And tip five is really, it's the same as number one, because it's a cycle. Like, you go through a continuous cycle when you're going through this journey of becoming your higher self, right? So, once you release, once you've healed, once you've forgiven, once you decided you wanted to become a better person, once you put those things in action, you go back to prayer. I'm saying go back to prayer, go back to God. God is the ultimate answer for all of this. I want to say thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.